Well, the leading candidate for Alabama's U.S. Senate race has been faced with criticism about shying away from public appearances and even debates. But today he made his second stop in the Wiregrass to visit with voters. WDHN's Robert Smith has the story. Mike Durant, a businessman and former prisoner of war, has battled criticism from his opponents recently for not committing to debates. There have been six Senate forums in Alabama. Representative Mo Brooks and Katie Britt have both attended. Durant has only attended one in November. We have no issue with the debate. It's about just getting it scheduled. Uh, you know, right now my priority though is to get out and meet with voters like I did today. I mean, you get a lot of great feedback. You, you know, you understand better what is important to the Alabama voter. Durant says, especially if there is a runoff situation, the latest polling shows Durant leading the Senate race with 33%, a 10% lead over Katie Britt, and Mo Brooks is in third place. And we're trying to maintain the high ground, and I think people appreciate that. We're not slinging mud. We're just talking about what I bring to this role, not you know what others don't. Not only is he the front runner in the Senate race, he leads in fundraising. His campaign has reached $7.3 million, with over $6 million coming from himself, since he's not a career politician, but a businessman. There's probably some things that should change about how politics is is done in the country because it does require so much money and unfortunately that does open up an opportunity for people to influence races. Durant highlighted during his speech if elected he wants to fight inflation, secure the southern border, energy independence and strengthen the military. Really all of the aerospace and defense industry stands to benefit from someone like me in this position because I understand it both as a veteran, combat veteran and as a contractor supporting the military as a civilian. Reporting in Dothan, Robert Smith, WDHN News for the Wiregrass. The head coach.